Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So I would like for you to give this video a thumbs up because it's going to be that good. Okay? Share the video. Subscribe if this is your first time on my channel. And please check out my links below. I have a link to GoFundMe and Patreon and that helps us to support my channel. And I'm trying to uh, purchase a camera and I'm close due to the wonderful wonderful fa uh, YouTube family members who have donated but I'm not there yet okay all right so I want to show you how to make seafood stuffed Pollock fish we're gonna bake the fish in the oven you don't want to miss this one. This one is one for the books for you, okay? You can show off when you have company. You can just make this and invite them over. They're going to be so impressed, okay? All right, so let's do it. Okay, so I have one piece of Pollock fish here. All right, so let's get started. We're going to add some, uh, a little adobo, not much, just a little. I don't want it too salty. Okay, that's enough. And some black pepper. I'm sorry, I didn't show you. Adobo. Black pepper. Make sure you can see what's better. Then I'm going to add some, I have some sofrito, okay? You can buy this in the Goya section, frozen. And I'm just going to put some on there so I can give it some nice flavor. The sofrito is made with garlic, um... You know what? I need to put this in the pan first. So let me slide that in. There we go. Should have did that first. Okay, so it's made with garlic and uh, peppers, onion. Okay, I need another spoon. I use put that on the fish. So I have a clean one. Okay, that's gonna really bring some nice flavor in there. What do you think? What that look like now? Looking good, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn my oven on 400. show you the top seafood stuffing okay okay so I'm gonna take the seafood stuffing and just put it right over the top fish was on sale for $2.99 a pound so I got one piece which that came to $2.64 the seafood cost I think it was all that goodness up there so 
So if you bought two pieces, you could still just use this one container of sea, seafood stuffing, okay? You wouldn't need to. Okay. Okay, let me let you see that. Wow, can you imagine that? So you got the sofrito, then you got the seafood stuffing. Okay, on the top, I'm just this is some olive oil spray. I'm going to just spray it. So that can have a nice browning. Okay, now it's going to go in the oven on 400. You know, fish doesn't take that long to cook. So my guess is probably mm, 10 minutes, if that. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, guys. You can see, I cut this right here. You can see where you can feed four people out of this one piece. That cost $2.69. And the stuffing was $3.49. So for $5, you can have a nice seafood uh, dinner. Cook you some vegetables, and you got it. Okay, so let me taste this for you. Okay, guys. We're going to taste. And by the way, it took 20 minutes. When I checked the temperature after 10 minutes, it was still cold and not up to temp. It took 20 minutes, just so you'll know. Mmm. It's good. The um, seafood stuffing tastes crunchy. I can taste the herbs that I put on there. And the fish is nice and soft. Great meal for fish, inexpensive. Okay? All right. So you do yours. So maybe you don't, you don't like Pollock fish. You could do haddock or what, salmon or whatever kind of fish you want. And you still put the seafood topping on. Okay? Okay, give it a thumbs up if you like it, share the video, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Check out my links below if you want to support this channel. Thank you.